I, I was thinking of taking this out of the box, but now I really don't want to. Hey there guys, what's up? It's the holiday season. I'm wearing my Santa hockey jersey, a big score I found from a thrift store and uh, love this jersey, but it's the Christmas season. And when you think of Christmas, you gotta think of toys. And all my life I've been a big toy guy. I've always loved toys when I was younger. I probably collected toys until I was like 14, maybe 15. And when I say collected, I mean play with them. <laughs> big fan of Star Wars action figures. Master of the Universe, I uh, got into G.I. Joe, Transformers very, very late. Probably around 12 I got into that. Uh, I have a whole bunch of toys. I, don't, I have all my toys still. One toy I always wanted as a kid because I was a big Godzilla fan. Loved Godzilla films back in the 60s and stuff. Um, not that it was around the 60s, but the 60s movies. Uh, these are corny, cheesy, but big monsters fighting each other. I thought it was pretty cool. All those just guys in rubber suits. But one thing I always wanted, I always wanted a Godzilla toy. But never got one. But Check this out. I saw it on sale, uh, Boxing Day, at our local comic shop called Curious Comics. As you can see, it comes in a nice little collector's box. 23 years ago, I got married. First Christmas together with my wife, Carolyn. She got me a toy. And it was one of Todd McFarlane's first toys. It was called Todd's Toys back then. It was a big revolution in the toy industry, where to toys became more detailed, um, Less of like play things, not that you can't play with it, but more of a collector's type item. I remember getting this, I was like, I felt like a kid again, getting a really cool toy. And so when I got this one, other toys followed. Like once every three years, like I'd get a toy from a friend or something like that. So, but this was the first one that started it all. As you can see, it's in a case still. I got kind of paranoid about opening up cases because I thought it would lose its value. But I decided today I am going to open this Godzilla toy. What's the point of having a toy if you don't open the box, right? You know the movie Toy Story when the toys are alive, they come alive? If this toy came alive at night, um, don't you think you'd want to be able Right now he's in a really terrible pose. Look at that pose he's in. That's a pose right there the toy can get into. So I want to get to there, not that. If I was this toy and I was stuck in a box, I want to be at least in a cool pose. So I figured, let's cut him out. Here we go. And I haven't done this in years to open a toy box. I just did it. So if this was ever going to be a collector's item and, and, and gain any value, it's now gone. Went from mint to okay. He's freed. He comes opening up. His tail's not attached. Oh, he's like stuck in there. How do we get him out? Right here. This Christmas, I noticed some stuff when my kids were opening up. They had little twist ties, but the twist ties were paper. They weren't um, plastic. So I thought it was kind of cool. You know, they're trying to use more recyclable stuff instead of stuff that you're going to throw in the garbage and up in the ocean. We all know what plastic's doing to the ocean right now. These ties, though, are definitely plastic. I, I didn't make the toy, I'm just opening it. You know, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, you think he'd get out of the box much easier than what he is right now. I've seen a rampage through Tokyo many times, but he's stuck in a little plastic box. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, he's still kind of stuck. He's getting tripped up here. Oh, ha, ha. There he is, he's out of the box. So his tail is not attached, so I'll attach his tail because I think he'll need it. Oh, the whole tail is pulled, it moves. This is so cool. I just got pushed. <sighs> the little ball at the end of his tail here, and the tail's supposed to go on the ball, but um, apparently I don't work out enough. It, it's in, his tail's attached now. So here's Godzilla. This Godzilla's Godzilla versus Space Godzilla. This is cool, his whole leg moves, his chest moves, his arms, I'm trying to get his arms positioned better right now because they don't look very threatening right now. See, so it looks like he's wearing a big parka and it's like he's got three layers because it's so cold outside and you go and put your arms down and goes, my arms are down. Because there's so many layers of coat and he can't get his arms down. His mouth opens too, look at that. Roar! <laughs> That's a really bad Godzilla roar, I apologize. I'm actually really glad I took him out of the box. So here it is, Godzilla. His new home to watch over my editing right there. Boom. So I also today, I also bought another one. Just want to show you guys cable. Came in, it's the Marvel Diamond Select. Kind of like the first appearance in the first comic book back in New Mutants. I believe it was 
Issue 88, I think it is. That's incorrect. Cable's first appearance was in New Mutants issue 87, but as you can clearly see, the toy was not designed from this issue. The comic you're referring to is the record-breaking first issue of X-Force. Oh! I, th I was thinking of taking this out of the box, but now I really don't want to because it's, I don't know, I have another one right here. My wife, I think two Christmases ago, got me the Incredible Hulk because I'm a big Hulk fan, and it's been in the box ever since, but... Do I open it? That's the question. Should I open it? I don't know. But stay tuned, I'll show more of my old toys. I have some classic toys from like 1977 all the way up through to current stuff now. And I'll maybe I'll take them out. But should I open cable? Hmm. <laughs>